Giuseppe in 2008, a young Novak Djokovic was facing Andy Roddick in the quarterfinals. Apparently, it could look like a normal matchup between two great players for a place in the semifinals. But it was not exactly a normal encounter. Novak Djokovic has been always criticized for his retirements and for his apparent tantrum with injuries. And nowadays, more and more people criticize Novak for faking injuries and for taking advantage of medical timeouts, getting his opponents out of the match. But actually, Andy Roddy was who started this hate back in 2008. When asked about his injuries today, you know, mentioning the right ankle, both the left ankle the other day. Yeah, no, both of them. Yeah, both. Of them. He, yeah, yeah, and a back. And a back. And a hip. And, and what, when he said and there, there's too many to count. And a cramp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get the sense right now that he is. Bird flu. Yeah, a lot of things. Yeah. Beijing hangover. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, he's got a pretty long list of ailments. Uh, SARS. <laughs> Common cough and cold. Got, got a lot of things. Yeah. Got, got a lot of things going on with him. Sure. Think he's bluffing? Yes, Andy Roddick in 2008 started with this hate, before his match against Djokovic dedicated some words to the serve in the pre match press conference. And these words made encounter one of the most controversial matches of all time, not only because of Roddick press conference, also because of Novak's reaction on the on-court interview right after the match. A few years later, after Roddick's retirement of tennis, he really said in an interview that everything was really tense in the locker room. And it almost ended on a fight. He even said he pushed Djokovic, obviously in the locker room, and he was ready to fight against him. Roddy was a really special player and very funny, especially on this type of occasions, on press conferences, interviews, but on this occasion I think what he said, laughing at Djokovic, did not proceed at all. But well, I think this time karma ended up showing here. The 2008 Australian Open champion, Novak Djokovic, coming out, here he is. He's got the green and black on tonight. Novak, good to see you. What's the deal with uh, you coming in here? Because you had a tough five-setter, the match before against Tommy Robredo. Uh, you called for the trainer a couple of times. How are you feeling? I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling okay. I had two days to recover and just look forward to, the, to this challenge. How's the crowd? How the fans figure in tonight for you? I can just imagine. <laughs> <laughs> good luck. Thanks. Hey. Thanks, Ken. Well, that's... Uh... I almost had that uh, chance of taking out the title. Or substance. It's shots like shots like that. A, a mid-court ball when he's forced to come in. Jimmy just looked at me and he said, you know, Woody. Yeah, it's also about being in the right position once you get to net. Djokovic. Goes ahead to a 4-1 lead. Only one service break, though, in this first set. Court speed, you'd give the edge to... Oh, a very, very poor opening set there from... Andy Roddick, 13 unforced errors and three winners. So he's got some work to do in this break here for two minutes, try to get himself together mentally, calm down, throwing his racket to the ground, so he should. The two-hander backhand, try and drive the ball more. Like that, off the two-hander
I guess the... Uh... Same game plan. Get Roddick wide on the forehand. Get the short ball and then punish it. That's two sets of love. Owing to the three unforced errors from Roddick in his last service game. It's going to be a long way back for Roddick now. Game. Roddick. Third set to Roddick. We've got a match. His fourth set could be fascinating. from Djokovic to steady himself down in that game having watched she hit forehand volleys the other night the, the reach of Djokovic Let's have, have a look at Djokovic's movement here on these hard courts Answering as Roddick did in his last service game when he had those chances. Oh, it's now it's Djokovic coming in on the wrong balls. And Roddick giving some of the medicine back to Djokovic, just bunting that return, allowing him to be brought in out of play. Oh, that's a good shot. He just made it look easy. It was a short ball, ball time, and it should be usually win the match. Oh, that's his best shot. We've talked about Djokovic's backhand down the line, and how, yes, Andy says, come on, cheer for me, get me going, pump me up here. But that forehand just there was. So well struck out the middle of the racket. Yeah. Oh, another backhand from Roddick. The two best backhands that he's hit for a long time down the line, just inside the baseline. He's got the break in the fourth set. It looks like we are heading. Two different players, isn't it? From what you saw in the first two sets. Missing. There from Djokovic, that'll give him a look. those past nine returning games. Now he has a crack at a second serve. Going for the big one again down the middle. Djokovic was looking for it though. You could see him moving that way as Roddick hit it. Just a very tiny window. Patrick McEnroe taking a deep breath. The tension is on. Double fault to get to 30 all. The pressure mounts. Double fault. It's Roddick who's starting to crack under the pressure. Had 30 love in this game. Missed the forehand pass that was on. He's been serving so so well in this. This set, the last two sets, Andy Roddick, he's found his rhythm. But uh, now he's given, uh, he's given Djokovic a break point. Yep. Giving it back to him. That's in. 
That is a great shot, and how fast does that happen? Well. Say that, oh, look, the crowd's just so pro rotting man. man. <laughs> yep, only got to the service line again. Plenty of room to pass across court there. I hope we see a replay of that. Here he, here he comes into the net. Look where he is. Nice change of pace and spin for Djokovic. And only one step over the service line. Djokovic is through, touching his heart. I'm not sure about that. Go and thank Andy for a couple of double faults there at the wrong time. But a heck of an effort and a very quick shake hand from both players. Didn't, no eye contact from Djokovic. That's not going to go over well with the crowd. Michael here from Novak. Michael. All right, Teddy John, Novak, great match. You're back to your second straight U.S. Open semifinal. Way to be. What's your thoughts tonight? Uh, thanks for the my box and all the fans who are supporting me tonight. I know they were not more than Roddick, but uh, I'm I'm really happy, you know, playing against uh, Roddick and his court and in his ambient and this is like his city, his favorite tournament. So to win against him is a huge effort. I, I'm sure it was. The first two sets, you came out smoking. And then what happened in the third set there? I thought it might just be three. Well, obviously, you know, Andy was saying that I have 16 injuries uh, on the last match. So obviously I don't, right? Didn't look like it. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah right. well, here's I, like the thing. I like it or not, I mean, it's like that. So... You know, you, you get, this crowd loves you. You could turn them against you real fast, you know. Well, I know they're already against me because they think I'm faking everything, so sorry. Well, no, no one said that. The only one who said that, the only one who intimated that was Andy. And Andy, Andy said he was kind of joking around about it. Did that fuel your fire? That's not, uh, that's not nice anyhow to say, you know, in front of this crowd that I have 16 injuries and I'm faking. You know, I, I have nothing against anybody. It's just that the momentum is not nice. And did that 